Hi folks! Welcome back for part 2 of Let's Play Discworld 2. And now we continue looking Manitus around. Crocaeus, or the common spotted croquet mallet. Hmm, croquet mallet, huh? What's this? A hoop. So they are One playing croquet. croquet. Or, if we're being foreign, we'd say hoopla. No, we wouldn't. No, 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 we wouldn't. Let's see. Hey, more hoops. One croquet hoop. Same thing. Okay, let's talk to the, the dean. dean. Possibly the next best thing to administrative staff a university could have without actually hiring anyone who can do sums. That's why we look at it. Hello. Shh. Sorry. Really sorry. So. Oh. <laughs> so you'll all just have a nice game here, then, while I go off and work, eh? Right. Don't mind me. I'll just be over here saving the entire universe, then. Hmm. Tricky shot. Hmm. Very, very nice sticks on those croquet mallets. Go away! Is that a We're hint? We're trying to play a relaxing game. Fine, fine. Don't let me disturb you. I'll just be over here saving us all from certain doom. Hmm. Three sticks. See you later. We need that, don't we? Two croquet... Hey, look, a third croquet player. Funny. The librarian never really struck me as a croquet kind of chap. Let's talk to him. Well, that threw a monkey wrench into the works. <laughs> no, it's just a turn of phrase. I swear it just slipped out. I in no way intended to pass any sort of derogatory remark about your chosen form. Not here, nor ever. I personally find that having an arboreal primate as a companion has been an enriching, nay, invigorating experience. <laughs> well, that settled him down. I do wish you'd just let it rest. I don't see it matters if people accidentally say monkey. Notice no physical damage on Rinswin so for that. at least you chaps are having a good day of it. Balmy afternoon, breezes blowing, sun shining. <laughs> I suppose that makes it monkey shine then. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's the one who said it first. So, seen any good mm. sticks around here at all? Mm. Oh, well, I'll just go off and keep looking then. You know, the sooner I get Death up and on his feet again, the sooner I might open up some more avenues for promotion around here. That's one way to look See at it. See you later. <laughs> hmm. We need three sticks, and those croquet mallets all have sticks, and they're all of equal length. Amaze? Hmm. Oh, please, let's not add this to our list of woes. Let's just stay out here, where everything's nice and calm. I'm already lost. A rooster. It's one of the few organic life forms on campus that is almost definitely not an ex-faculty member. Almost definitely. Hey, try to grab the rooster in the tides. Way up top. Kinda hard to reach it up there. Eh, can't do anything with it. Amaze? Oh, please, let's not add this to our list of woes. Let's just stay out here where everything's nice and calm. So we need something to grab that rooster with, apparently, because we can't catch him yet. Compost heap. So this is the university compost heap. Everyone always goes on about recycling as though it's such a thrill. It's a load of rot. I mean, think about it. You're encouraging the breeding of a vast mound of bacteria in your own home. Surely the one in your sock drawer is good enough for you. Well, you might think so. No way am I touching that. Hmm. A birdhouse in the university? I thought the Arch-Chancellor had ordered all the local wildlife to be shot. Oh no, that was the students. Well, that's all right then. Oh, Just that's so better, long as he huh? wasn't being cruel to animals. Oh well, I guess. An imp. Small, offensive, and more than just a little bit suspect, I think. But I must admit, his little metal boots are rather neat. Not to mention smelly. It's metal boots. It's already occupied. Hmm. Metal boots are a source of uh, discussion. <laughs> Stop it! Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I thought you were someone else. Who? Mm -hmm. Who? What? Who did you think I was? Oh, nobody in particular. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, eek. Ah. 
one hesitates to ask any further, really. I, I, I. So this guy is not sane. So that's it, is it? That's your entire repertoire, just sitting around and saying, oit. Is that all? Is that all? No, why? Oh, you say I'm just a smelly little imp, and so I say, oh, ray -o. You say that I'm a silly little gimp, and I say, go away -o. Cause I'm smelly over here, I'm smelly over there. I'm smelly, smelly, smelly everywhere. I fill the bathtub plug with hair, and then I sing all day -o. Oh, you say I'm just a silly jelly blimp, and I say it's okay, oh. You say a piece of string is limp, and I say the word potato. Limp, 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 here, limp, 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 there. And potato peelings everywhere. How long does it take to skin a bear? And I say, um, and I say all day, oh, oi! Quite. We already had a musical number. Look, who are you? Oi, oi, stink the imp. Stench the imp? No, no, stink, not stench. I wouldn't make any friends if I was called stench, now would I? I mean, I do have a stench. All part of the job, you understand. But stench is not, in fact, my actual name. I see. And so you, in fact, might have the worst stench in the kingdom. Ah, second worst, I'm afraid. The worst belongs to foul old Ron. Well, that's probably what did it, actually. Drove me mad and all. The disappointment, the yearning, looking towards a goal one could never really achieve. That sort of thing. Bad? Oh, yes. Lip-strumming, hooting, mad, I'm afraid. Oi, oi, who's a pretty cuttlefish? Why do people lapse into insanity when they talk to me? You've got a sympathetic face, mister. <laughs> That's a really good question. These boots are yours, then. Mm -hmm. They're the home of your stench. Aha! They are the perfect home for any stench. They are, in fact, the ideal dream home for really strong smells. I aim to go and attract some really astounding stinks to myself later on, right after a good, hard, manic fit. Hang on, hang on, hang on! Here it comes now. Oit! Oit! Oh! Happen. Sorry. Something tells me I'm glad. Steel soul boots. That looks curious. Look, I hope you're writing this down. I mean, what do you want me to do? <laughs> Shout, hint. <laughs> well, I mean, you know. So the Be boots seen, are a hint. Actually, look at the boots. Now. But we know the boots are there. Along with the compost heap, the imp's birdhouse, all that good stuff. Come on, walk over here to the left. Stop stalling. Got one more place to look at in this little area. Hmm. Bees. How sweet. Lovely little flowers. Just what the bees need to do their work. Beehives. I think worker bees are so nasty only because they do all the work and the queen gets all of the other. But you know, a bit of romance, a bit of soft lighting, maybe a little cup of nectar shared with the drones. And I think worker bees could be as nice to get on with as anybody. Or am I just talking rubbish? All right, it was only a thought. I'll get back to the game then, if you're so keen to always be practical. I don't know, you try to add a little bit of philosophical depth and do you get any thanks? I think not. The university beekeeper. Look, let's not hang around too close. He might try to talk to us. That would be bad, wouldn't it? Up. Oh, that will mark my uh, time here is up. So, time to cut the video and hopefully... I'll see everybody back for the next episode of Let's Play Discworld 2. Till then, take care everybody. See you later.